Hello, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I would like to introduce to you narratives and how to do technical alignment with narratives. Um, as uh, as Tron just said, at the end there, there will be a QR code that I ask you to scan and it will open a Google Doc uh, in which we do a little live demo and I ask you to participate. So please have your smartphones ready uh, for the live demo in a couple of minutes. I do work as an engineering manager, so I'll be accountable for software engineers and <clears throat> we work on the whole software development lifecycle and technical alignment is a, is a huge part of it and narratives uh, is a tool that I found very useful and that's why I would like to share that with you and hope uh, you consider this in your toolbox in the future too. Um, apart from working as an engineering manager, um, I also do other stuff, uh, open source and online, and uh, those are the links. And this presentation will be on my website too uh, in a couple of hours. When thinking about narratives, this quote always comes to my mind. And the sloppiness of thinking is something that in my mind really looks like this. So I have so many ideas that are popping up every now and then but there are never in a form that, that I could tell others about that or that I could even convince others uh, about my ideas. And narratives is a way uh, to, to bring that into a form that others can understand and ideally they can be convinced. So what are narratives? In the end, narratives are text documents, nothing else. However, in, in order to guide the reader uh, through, through whatever topic you would like to, to tell them, um, I found the, this template or this structure that, um, that is here on, the, on this page uh, useful and it's also coming on, the second, on this uh, second page. So first, start with a problem statement. Please make sure the problem statement is really crisp. My recommendation is five to six sentences, not, nothing more. If you have a problem statement that is bigger, then potentially you want to write two or three narratives because the problem space is already too big. Uh, to, to pinpoint the problem statement and later also to propose solutions. Have readers in mind that are not fully <clears throat> uh, in the context uh, of the pro uh, problem statement. So please write the context and background section in case those readers need to read your narrative too. And please also uh, outline around free solution approaches. Why free? Um, often solution approaches are paragraphs in itself having three of them in mind at the same time is what most people can handle. More than three solution, as solution approaches, especially when it's about technical topics, is hard to handle in, in the brain. And um, you should focus on the three most promising ones. After you file down the solution approaches, please propose one that you would like to pick and explain the why. Uh, I like the, uh, the talk before me, uh, very much because it also focused a lot on the why. And uh, I, I can't emphasize this more, explain why you propose this solution and why this is the conclusion that you make. An optional part are FAQs. So if you can come up with questions and answers um, that others may have, please write them down and share them with everyone in the document. Uh, a decision record helps to, to double check who uh, really supports that um, proposed solution or not. And the recce matrix is again optional. It's an abbreviation for responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. And in case uh, a project follows up by that, you can use a recce matrix um, to define people who fit into one of those buckets. But why? Why should you do that? I mean, everything I said you could have done before, right? Before, uh, also without uh, writing a narrative. The, the, the key advantage I see is the collaboration and the documentation which is built into the collaboration. So when I, whenever I write documents, I, I use a tool <coughs> which is easily shareable. So the document is easily shareable, which is Google Docs uh, with different permission schemes, et cetera, et cetera, comments. And when you write this narrative and you, you go back and forth, you have different ideas, you maybe even delete parts of what you wrote before. This is all visible in the, in the history. And so the whole process of ideation discussion is documented. This is where I see the benefit also for people who maybe read that in six months or so. 
why you introduced a certain technology, you started with a new project or whatever. And now is time for a very little live demo. Please scan this uh, QR code. It will open a Google document where everyone with a link uh, can write into. I don't ask you to write into the document yet uh, because uh, we want to do this together, ideally. And I'm going to going count down from 10. Uh, so you have 10 more seconds to, to scan this QR code. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I'm going to open this document as well. This is a, this is a made up narrative, right? So it's the popular chicken and pig uh, fairy tale, um, which is um, in IT often referenced. And I'm going to read out the problem statement out loud. A pig and a chicken are walking down the road. The chicken says, hey, pig, I was thinking we should open a restaurant. The pig replies, hmm, maybe what would we call it? The chicken responds, how about ham and eggs? The pig thinks for a moment and says, no, thanks. I'd be committed, but you'd be involved. A chicken survives producing eggs. A pig dies producing ham. I think that's a real problem statement for, at least for the pig, for the chicken, maybe not so much. And the context is in this, in this made up example that ham and eggs is popular food. So why not um, open a restaurant like this? But the chicken, <laughs> yes, even a, uh, a typo, the chicken is involved. So no surprise is only involved, so no pro uh, surprise, it starts the conversation. And now I ask you, everyone who, who is on this document, I can't see how many people are on this, please write a solution approaches here, in case you have any. Okay, so there are none. Uh, one of the options is a veggie restaurant, right? Um, many people nowadays like ham and eggs and also they like not to eat uh, animals. So a veggie re restaurant is for sure an option. Another option is to still call it ham and eggs, but serve eggs only. Uh, serve. And um, so there are many options of how you could think of solution approaches for this. Will all of those be considered real solution approaches for the problem statement? Possibly not. However, you'll have, you'll have within writing a document uh, with, of course, more text like um, this outlined, this very short solution approaches here, um, where, where you brainstorm about ideas and where you also document ideas, ideally in a collaboratively way. And this is uh, where I see the, the benefit of, of narratives. Um, the engineers I work with, uh, some of them like it more, some of them like it less, but luckily more of them like it. Um, and sorry, this was not it. And that's it uh, for my talk. Um, in case there are questions, uh, let the organizers know. I'm, I'm happy to answer them afterwards. There is no booth that I'm attending. Uh, thanks for listening.